Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Ready for another action-packed coding adventure in our Unity Tower Defense Masterclass? In our last session, we spawned our first minions. But what's a tower defense game without a little more substance? This time, in episode 3, we're about to escalate the challenge. We'll be updating our spawner script to control waves of minions, building suspense and trail. But wait, there is more. We are also going to set the stage for the next wave with a suspenseful countdown timer using our new script called Level Manager. Ready to level up your game? And let's dive in. Okay, so without further ado, let's open up the spawn script. Now, in the previous video, we made use of this invoke repeating method and we hard coded this 0 0.5 um, that represents the spawning rate. Let's create a public float called spawn rate. And let's default it to 0.5s. Let's just substitute that hard code value to this one. Now we're able to control the spawning rate from within the inspector. Now, the, currently our spawner keeps on spawning forever. Let's introduce a new concept of a wave. So we basically want to spawn a certain number of enemies. This is super simple. We need two new variables, a public int max count and a private end count which let's initialize it to zero so we can also do max count 10 but we can set that in the inspector as well so we basically want this counter to keep on counting and when it reaches 10 we should stop spawning this is super easy to do so we go in the spawn method we basically want to increment count after we set the destination and then we need to check if the current count is larger or equal to our max count. Now to cancel this invoke repeating method we simply call cancel invoke. Great. Now let's go and test that in Unity. So we have our spawner here. Oh, let, let it compile. We have our spawner here and we can control the spawning rate. Let's do a uh, 0.3. See if we can do that. And let's spawn only five enemies. Click play. And you see, we only have five enemies. Now, next thing we need to do is actually controlling the number of waves. So let's create a new empty object in the hierarchy panel and let's call it level manager. And also let's create a script with the same name. So level manager. Drag and drop the script into our level manager game object and open it up. Okay, now in this level manager, we want to be able to control when to start a new minion wave. How could we do that? So we will need a public int max wave equals, let's say, five and a uh, private and current wave equals zero. So what we want to do is keep track of which wave is this one with the current wave. And once it reaches the five max wave, then we just stop spawning waves. Now, we will need two new methods. So we will need a void start next wave and also a void stop spawning method okay so in the start next wave we could increment current wave so we incrementing current wave by one and then making use of methods which we will create in the spawner so let's just for now write spawner dot start 
next wave and in the stop spawning we are doing spawner dot stop spawning okay let's just fix that and let's also create a, a reference to this spawner so we would do public spawner spawner now we do not have these two methods so let's go in the spawner and create them we can do void start next wave and void stop spawning now stop spawning would be very easy we can just call cancel invoke and that's it in the start next wave we just need to reset our counter to zero because otherwise if it's like five or ten or whatever your max count is uh, it will not spawn anything or just spawning one so we reset the counter and then we call the same method we do on the start in here super easy and because we are controlling when the the waves are spawning in the level manager let's remove the start method from here and actually call oh i forgot to make this so don't forget to make this public otherwise you won't be able to access it on the scripts so public and in the level manager we can simply call in the start method spawner dot start next wait okay so we actually made a bit of a mistake here we don't have to call the start next wave on the spawner we need to call the start next wave on the level manager and that will call the spawner and we also need to keep track of where we're spawning and when we're not so private bow is spawning equals false in the start next wave we set that to true and in the stop spawning we set that to false cool so now when we start next wave we count uh we increase the count on the current wave we start the next wave and we say that is coming in goes through we also need to keep track of the enemies so let's make a private integer uh, of the enemies remaining initialize that to zero and we need a way to control this so let's create another public method uh, called enemy destroyed destroyed um, and first let's see where we can call it, uh, this method I think in the enemy control before we destroy the the actual enemy we should be able to call the enemy destroyed and basically reduce the amount of enemies we're counting in the enemy controller let's create a new public level manager variable and call it level manager um oh i already had it here um yeah i'll just remove that and press run for the level manager and here before we destroy the enemy we should call level manager dot enemy destroyed great back in the level manager if our enemy is remaining r0 we should set is spawning to false because we're not spawning anymore and we need to start the count let's create a private flow call it timer and initialize that to zero okay 
And here in enemy destroyed, we need to set the timer. So let's add a client. All enemies have been destroyed. So we should reset the timer to some sort of a variable. Let's call it wave spawn interval. So at the top here, let's create another public float wave spawn interval and say 45. We can set that in the inspector later. So basically this is 45 seconds. Back in the enemy destroy, we say that timer equals wave spawn interval. So that's how we reset it. Great. Next, in the update method, we first need to check if we are spawning anything. So if we're spawning, we need to keep the timer to zero. So while the wave is spawning, keep the timer to zero. So how we do that is timer equals zero. Otherwise, we want that timer to decrease with time dot delta time. And I pretty much like to put a lot of comments. So yeah, if you want, you can do it as well. It's just easier for me to go back and see what I did. If we're not spawning, we stop the countdown. Now, if the timeline reaches zero or in this case, it's more than zero because maybe it overshoots sometimes, we don't know, so this is safer. Timer solar or equal to zero. If our current wave is larger or equal to our max wave, we want to basically stop spawning. And let's add another comment, reached the max wave count stop wave stop spawning wait otherwise we start a new wave cool yep i think that it's fine let's see if we forgot anything um no nothing here we're calling enemy destroyed. Okay, let's test it out and see if there is any box. Now, uh, in the spawner script, so we wait for compile. In the spawner script, um, I have waves on interval set to five, so we don't wait that much when we test. And we also want in the level, no, wait, in the spawner, we want only one waypoint, so my waypoint is actually this one, so I don't have to travel all the way to get destroyed. Uh, everything is fine. Spawning rate 0.3. Okay, let's play and see what happens. So we have five minions spawned. They go, and once they reach this point, they should get destroyed. We wait five seconds and a uh, next wave should come. Oh, nothing is happening, so I think there is a bug. Uh, let's go back into the spawner. I think I know what it is. It's because enemies remaining is never actually set to the amount of uh, enemies we have. So in the start next wave, after we started the next wave, we should enemies remaining equals with spawner dot max count. So we basically want to know how many enemies we're waiting for. Now let's give it another try. Okay, so, oh, now started and Enemies are coming in, five enemies. They got to the point, they got destroyed. We're waiting five seconds. 
and a new wave appears. Great. Okay guys, thank you for tuning in. If you found this video useful, hit the like button, share it around and subscribe for more. If you're interested in state machines or animations, you can check one of my other videos. Stay connected, keep learning and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.